Do you know what is the most important thing in your life you cannot live without? Am I talking about cell phone? Of course not. Then, food? Not at all. Because you can live about 40 days without food, and even 3 to 5 days without water, but only minutes without oxygen. So, the oxygen proves to be the most essential thing in your life. And an average person will breathe about 23,040 times in a 24-hour period. Well, the respiratory and cardiovascular systems work closely together to provide the body with oxygen and to remove carbon dioxide. Our heart receives the deoxygenated blood from the whole body and pumps it to the lungs through pulmonary artery. When we inhale, oxygen enters the lungs. Blood cells pick up this oxygen in the lungs, and pulmonary veins carry this oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the heart. Now, heart pumps this oxygenated blood to the rest of the body through arteries. There, tissues use this oxygen for the production of energy and release carbon dioxide as a byproduct which enters the blood. Now, this deoxygenated blood once again enters the heart through veins and heart pumps this to lungs for oxygenation again. Lungs get rid of this carbon dioxide when we exhale. And the cycle goes on. One thing worth noticing here is that all veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein. And all arteries carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery. Now, our sole focus is the system that helps us breath. The respiratory system. Well, there are four distinct processes of respiration. Pulmonary ventilation that refers to the movement of air into and out of the lungs. This typically follows the rule that gases move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. Next one is external respiration. That is in fact the diffusion of gases between the alveoli and the blood of the pulmonary capillaries. Then we have transport of gases. By gases, I obviously mean oxygen and the carbon dioxide. So, the third process involves the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and tissues. And last but not the least, internal respiration. That includes the diffusion of gases between the blood of the systemic capillaries and cells or tissues of the body. Now that we had a quick overview of respiration and the relationship between respiratory and cardiovascular system, let's take a tour to the respiratory tract and dive deeper into the anatomy and physiology of respiratory system. So, the respiratory system is divided into two tracts. The upper respiratory tract consists of structures located outside the thoracic cavity, including the nose, nasopharynx, oropharynx, laryngopharynx, and larynx. They warm and humidify the inspired air. They're also responsible for the senses of smell and taste as well as swallowing food. While the lower respiratory tract consists of structures located inside the thoracic cavity. It starts at the trachea, then bronchi and lungs. So now let's learn their details in the next parts of the video.